Hello and welcome to Let's Play Golden Axe Warrior on the Sega Master System. Um, in ancient times, a race of ruthless giants rebelled against the power of the elders. Usurped, they were forced to fight a brutal war and many of them fell on the field of battle. Their followers began to think that the age of the elders had ended. Amid this turmoil, a brave warrior swore to put an end to the rebellion. He fought heroically, ultimately succeeding only because he possessed the Golden Axe, a gift from Thor's Spirit of Thunder. Many years passed and the bitter incident was nearly forgotten. Forgotten, that is, by all but the evil giant Death Adder. Everyone lived in peace and happiness in the country of Firewood, a land ruled by a family that had mastered the magic of the Nine Crystals, relics that warded off evil and preserved peace, and had also mastered spells of thunder, earth and fire. Unable to attack Firewood, Death Adder conquered Nendoria and Alto Rulia, but longed for the day when he would finally defeat Firewood. Finally, a greedy, high-ranking minister of Firewood betrayed the king, selling the gems to the evil Death Adder. Firewood quickly fell and was burned. Heroes of Firewood sought to kill Death Adder, but his gruesome monsters seemed to be everywhere. Left to his own devices, the entire world might fall under his evil reign, unless, of course, a hero emerges brave enough to end Death Adder's rule. And here's the title screen. Golden Axe Warrior, Sega 1991. And then the introduction sequence starts again, so you can read it again if you want, uh, which I won't do, of course. Um, yeah, this is an action RPG game. Um, it borrows heavily from uh, The Legend of Zelda on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Although I do actually prefer this game. Uh, the graphics are better and the colours are better. And in, and in my opinion the music's better as well. Anyway, so... Um, new game. Uh, we need to enter a name for our character. Um, I'm going to choose my YouTube username initials, SC. So S full stop, C full stop. There we go. Lovely. SC, Firewood's facing a crisis. Death Adder attacked and stole the nine crystals which protected us. Death Adder killed your parents. Destroy Death Adder and get those nine crystals. And here's the beginning of the game. Okay, I'll just pause it quickly to explain um, a few things. Um, I'm going to split this playthrough up into several videos. Um, each video is going to be roughly half an hour long. Um, this game is huge, so I don't know how many videos it's going to take. Um, if I unpause the game and press button 1 for the inventory screen, um, I can show you the map. <clears throat> um, on the right there is the map of the overworld, um, and it's a grid of 15 by 15 squares. Um, each square represents one screen, so there are 225 screens in the overworld alone. Um, there are also more screens in the dungeons, uh, so this is a huge game and it's going to take me a long time, so I don't know how many videos it's going to take. Um, at the moment we have the uh, uh, the weakest sword, and we have the chain mail and the small shield. Um, I have no horns, uh, the horns are the currency in this game, uh, for some reason, I don't know why. Um, we get horns by killing enemies, uh, sometimes they drop a yellow one, which is one horn, and sometimes they drop a a blue one which is five horns. Um, sometimes you will meet a man who will give you some horns and sometimes you'll meet a man who will take them away. Um, the men are identical so the only way of knowing who gives you horns and who takes them away is to um, remember them or write it down. So, so um, I've written down the locations of the, uh, of the people who give me horns and the people who take them away. Uh, because there's no way I can remember. Um, I first completed this game a couple of months ago um, and I completed it again uh, just before I did this playthrough so I can't remember um, lots of things in this game so I've written down uh, some locations that I might have to refer to um, during this playthrough. Anyway, um, 
Um, we have three life hearts. Um, they're increased by getting the crystals and they're increased by um, sometimes meeting someone who will give us a heart. Um, when we get a heart, um, it puts our life to maximum as well. Um, the magic pots, uh, they're not relevant yet because we don't have um, a scroll yet. Uh, we need a scroll before we can use magic. Um, they're increased throughout the game as well. Anyway, um, let's get out of the inventory screen and play the game. Um, this is the first screen. Um, I think it's where our parents are buried, although I'm not entirely sure. Uh, don't quote me on that. Um, when we die, um, or rather if we die, um, I think we lose half our horns or something and we're taken back here. Um, if we die in a dungeon, we lose half our horns and we are taken back to the start of the dungeon. Um, I think eventually we're taken to somewhere else, maybe, I can't remember because I don't um, die very often and I hope not to die during this playthrough. Anyway, let's go to the next screen. Okay, in here, um, go inside this place, let's um, talk to some of these people. <clears throat> um, hi, can I help you? Um, this is a shop. Um, different shops sell different things at uh, different prices as well. Um, a key costs 60 horns. Um, keys are used in the dungeons. Um, I never really buy one, or, or rather I never really need to buy one because um, they're given in, in the dungeons. I've never needed to buy one. Um, I've always used the keys um, that are given to me by enemies in the dungeons. Um, that always seems to be enough, so I've never needed to buy a key, which is good because they're expensive. Um, a magic feather. Uh, using that will transport you back to the last place you saved the game. Um, it doesn't work in a building or in a dungeon, so I've never really used that either, to be honest. Um, magic oil. Um, pretty expensive at 130 horns. Um, eventually we'll find some armor that's, um, that goes rusty if we touch a certain enemy. Um, and on only the magic oil uh, can get rid of the rust. Um, when that armor is rusty, it doesn't work, so we have to use the magic oil to get it back to normal. But um, we don't have that armor yet, so it's not really needed. Anyway, that's that. Let's talk to this man. Uh, they all seem to be dancing for some reason. Um, Death Adder hid the nine crystals in nine different labyrinths. Uh, those labyrinths are supposed to be around here. Okay, to talk to them, just walk, uh, just walk up to the front of them like that. If you head north, you'll encounter stronger beasts. Yeah, don't head north yet. Um, head south and east and west first. Um, because uh, the enemies are really strong and we don't really have enough. I mean, in theory we could make it through, but it's very unlikely because we're bound to get hit and it will take all our life off. So, Anyway, use this man. Oh yeah, you can save your game data here. Do you want to save? No. Yeah, uh, this game uses a battery backup save, but on the emulator it just saves it to my hard drive, so... That's that. Um, I'm from a southeastern town called Salem. When the monsters attacked, I escaped. Yeah, this game is very similar uh, save-wise to uh, Fantasy Star that used a um, battery backup as well. Um, okay. Um, welcome, you can stay at our inn free of charge. Yeah, um, eventually we'll find inns that, uh, that charge. Um, it doesn't really matter because they're pretty cheap, but um, 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 they're dotted around. Um, uh, the only thing they do is, um, is just increase our, uh, is increase our life to maximum again, so it just puts our health up. We'll look forward to seeing you again. Anyway, um, let's leave. Let's go inside this building. <clears throat> Let's talk to this man. Um, Death Adder killed the King of Firewood and Princess Tyrus. Firewood's finished. Oh no, it's not. Some have seen Death Adder's monsters near Miliva too. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. Okay. Um, always check if you can go inside the fireplace because there are a few um, houses in which you can go inside the fireplace, and there, is, uh, there are a couple of secrets in there. But we can't in this one. Anyway, don't go left, um, go down first. Anyway, here are the first load of enemies. These ones are easy. Um, I'll just let you know now that I don't know the names of any of or I don't know the names of um, I don't know the names of any of the enemies. There we go. Uh, I can't remember any of them. Now that was bread I got back there, by the way. That will restore one uh, heart's worth of health. And um, there's also meat uh, that will restore three heart's worth of health. 
Um, although for some reason, if you buy meat from a shop because some shops sell it, it seems to restore all my health. So I, I don't really get that. Anyway, um, even though it's the same item, uh, that other that blue thing I picked up was um, a magic pot. Um, if you remember my playthrough of Axe Battler, A Legend of Golden Axe on uh, the Sega Game Gear. Um, magic pots in that game with a currency, but in this there are any magic, but uh, we don't really need any because we can't even use magic yet, so it's always going to be at maximum. Anyway, I can't remember the name of this enemy. Um, the shield will block projectiles, but only uh, they only block projectiles if you face the en uh, if you face the projectile. Um, otherwise, uh, they will hurt you. some trouble killing this critter for some reason. There we go. Oh good, that gave us five horns. Um, because I lost too much health there, I think the the controller I'm using sort of mucked up a bit and made me walk into the uh, made me walk into the enemy, so I lost more health than I wanted to. Um, so yeah, so use the uh, uh, the inn. Hope you enjoyed your stay. We'll be looking forward to seeing you again. Okay, so our health's at maximum again. Uh, the enemies will stay dead in a screen until I think we go inside a dungeon or something like that and then leave and then they reset. Um, there's not much point in killing the enemies at the moment unless you want loads of horns because or some health or something because we can't really um, we can't really um, we can't unlock the staircases yet. Um, it, if you remember Golvelius, um, each screen had a hole that you can go down. In this game, um, not all of them, but uh, most of the screens have a staircase like in Legend of Zelda to go down. Um, and uh, uh, they'll have someone to whom to talk in there, so... Uh, but um, the only way to unlock most of them is to get another item in the first dungeon. Uh, we can only unlock a few of them uh, at the moment. And, uh, so there's not much point killing the enemies, unless you're desperate for horns, but uh, uh, you shouldn't really be desperate for horns, because you don't really need them at the moment. Anyway, what we're going to do now is we're going to go down... Um, Gonna get see if we can get more, a small health. There we go. Actually, not that way. Um, I'm looking for another village. There's another village around here with an item I want to pick up. Might be down here. <coughs> Let's have a look. Yep, here it is. Good. Okay, go in here. Okay, now it looks like we can't do anything, but we can actually go inside the fireplace. Uh, there's another playthrough on here done by a Norwegian man, and he said he and, and it was a really good playthrough. He completed the game and everything, and he knew where lots of the things were. Uh, and he said he'd been playing this game since he was a child or something like that. But I noticed that he didn't go in this fireplace. The first time I played this game properly a couple of months ago, I tried this fireplace and there was something in it, and he didn't do that. I don't know why. I, I don't know why it's difficult to find. I mean, I found it really easily. Um, inside it, it says you have a golden apple. So we found a golden apple. Um, a golden apple is a rare item. If you buy them, if you buy them inside a shop, they're really expensive. Um, but it's a rare item. It will increase. It'll put your health to maximum. It's pretty much like a health potion. It'll put your health to maximum when you use it. Uh, there is another use for it though. So hold on to this golden apple. If you do use this golden apple um, for your own needs, uh, you'll have to get another one, uh, which is annoying because the the nearest shop is quite a way away and it costs and it's difficult to find uh, harder to find than this golden apple to be honest um, it just sells golden apples and they cost 40 horns each so which is pretty annoying so um, try to hold on to this golden apple if you can but if you do need it do use it okay in here some more people to whom to talk uh, a lot of people used to live in Salem but the monsters destroyed all of them on my way here I saw a dwarf it it was in the south. I guess it was near Lake Whale. He seemed to be suffering. I should have helped him. We'll be encountering encountering him shortly. Either in this video or in the next one. Hi, can I help you? Exactly the same shop as before. We don't need anything. Another uh, save point. I won't save just yet. Uh, welcome. You can stay at our inn free of charge. I might as well, because I might as well get my health to maximum. Anyway, now what we're going to do is we're going to get the fourth heart. Um... Um, now that we've done that, we're going to get the fourth heart, and then we're going to go in the first dungeon. I hate these things. Yeah, uh, you have to be facing them to block the projectiles. Good bread. No, oh, a few. Um, yeah, uh, we can go in this one now, but we have to kill all the enemies first um, to unlock the the staircase or the hole, if you want to call it. 
There we go. Oh, another horn, good. Yeah, if you do die, you lose half your horns or something and transport it back to the beginning. Anyway, there's a uh, there's a staircase there. What's in this one? It's another save point, which we don't uh, we don't need yet. Um, on the right is the first dungeon, so don't go there just yet. We just want to get the fourth heart first, which is over here. Yeah, so I have had to write down um, the locations of lots of the things because I just can't remember. This game is massive, really easy to get lost. Um, so I've had to write down a few things. Anyway, go in here for the fourth heart. I'll give you life. You have life. Then he disappears inexplicably, inexplicably, um, and, we, and we get the fourth heart. It also puts our health to maximum, uh, which is different from um, Wonder Boy 3, in which um, in that game when we got a heart container, it didn't put our health to maximum. We had to get another um, big heart to put our health to maximum. Might as well kill these critters. Yeah, yeah, we don't need the magic pots yet. Uh, they're pretty useless at the moment because we can't use magic. Yeah, these ones split into two. Oh, good bread. Good. Now, the maximum number of horns we can get is 255, which is also also similar to Zelda. I think I think we can only get 255 in that game. I can't remember, but I haven't really played Zelda much. But anyway, it's 255 for obvious reasons because um, of the whole hexadecimal thing. 256 is is a hundred in uh, hexadecimal. Um, heck no, it's, yeah, 256, yeah, 100 in hexadecimal, if you had, if you put down uh, the digits 100, uh, 100 in, heck, that was meat, uh, in hexadecimal, um, in normal decimal numbers it would be 256, that's right. Anyway, this is the first dungeon, so, and, uh, and you know it's the first dungeon because there's a Roman numeral 1 in there, so, anyway, go right first, you'll shut the door. Yeah, uh, plenty of critters here. Um, uh, try not to die. Good, I want that bread. More bread, good. Oh, more bread. Anyway, get a key. That's why we don't really need to buy keys because because um, we're given them. All the keys we need are given in the dungeons. I've never needed to buy a key in this game. Anyway, sometimes uh, some doors are locked. Uh, they're only unlocked by touching the the candles. So make sure you do that in every screen if there's a locked door. Um, Anyway, this dungeon's the first dungeon, it's pretty easy. Uh, the boss might cause problems if you're a novice, but I, it shouldn't cause any problems. If it does cause problems, just use your golden apple, but it does mean you'll have to go out of your way to get another one, because we do need a golden apple um, for a plot event. Anyway. Yeah, there's also another item, important item in, in this in this dungeon that we need to unlock many of the staircases in the game. Um, without it, the the game is uh, more or less unbeatable. So we need this item. Good five horns. Why horns are the currency? I have no idea. Right, let's open that door to the right. Let's go left first, though. Okay. Um, it's locked us in. That means we have to get all, all the enemies. Eventually, these bats will freeze here. More horns. More good bread. Yep, good. Yeah, that didn't really do anything. Sometimes those, uh, those trap rooms can give you a key, so it's always a good idea to do it anyway. Go to the right. Okay, these two doors need a key. Unfortunately, I think we only have one key, so we'll have to get another key from somewhere. Get out of it. Try to kill this enemy because it'll open up a bridge. And in here should be another key. Yes, that was another key. Okay, here's the item, the other item apart from the crystal that we need from this dungeon. All 
I must say, there's one thing I don't like about this game, and that is the uh, the music. It's just sort of generic. It doesn't really stand out. Anyway, you have the battle axe. As soon as you get the battle axe, switch to it because it's a much better weapon. Um, it has more. Yeah, you, know, you can attack enemies to the side with it. And the most important thing about it is that it chops down trees, which can reveal staircases. Anyway, go in here. This is the usefulness of the uh, of the battle axe. You can do this, and oh yeah, it's also a little bit stronger. Good bread. So you can get things there. Good. Okay, over here. Oh yeah, these things. These look very similar to the Bizarians on the original Golden Axe. Um. Um, I might have mentioned this earlier, but yeah, um, uh, the three characters from the Mega Drive version of Golden Axe make a cameo in this game. Uh, not the Master System version of Golden Axe, because the only character in that was Tarek, who is uh, what Axe Battler was called in the Master System version. I don't know why, but he, he was called Tarek in that. I had no idea why. Yeah. But they weren't, uh, the, the, the dwarf and the woman, yeah, the Amazon, weren't in the Master System version. Anyway, we need to press one of these. There we go. Let's go to the left first. Right, more of these. Yeah, these look like um, the Bizarians, uh, uh, the chicken leg Bizarians from, from um, Golden Axe Master System and Mega Drive version. Ideally, I want some health. Oh, good, that's what I want. Good. And another key, that's nice. Anyway, go up. Oh good, it's not the boss yet, so we can get some more health. Ah, good health. Health, good. Back some health. Oh yeah, these spikes. So that's the usefulness of the uh, of, of the axe here. We can get enemies to the side, that's annoying. Nope, no health. Try not to lose any cheap health here, that's it. And here's the boss. Try to keep your distance from him. Good. Don't touch him, he takes quite a bit of health off. Um, he won't need too many hits with the axe. There we go, he's gone. But yeah, he does take quite a bit of health off, a surprisingly large amount, so be careful. And if you lose all your, nearly all your health, you'll have to, uh, you will have to use the apple. Which I'd rather not do. Uh, you have the crystal. That'll put our health to maximum and give us another heart. So we're at five hearts now. <clears throat> so let's get out. Uh, let's get out of here. That's annoying. Uh, so with the axe, we can do a lot more. We can uh, uh, chop down trees and uh, and, un uh, and unlock a load of staircases. Yeah, it's just one thing that I'm not... I don't really hate the music, it's just sort of really forgettable. You know, um, a lot of the reasons why I like Master System games is because of the music. I mean, uh, I like listening to the music during the game, and this and this game just does not have really good music that I really want to listen to. Oh, good bread. Right. Now, the items they drop are random. Anyway... Yeah, uh, going inside a uh, dungeon and coming out again will reset the enemies, so uh, the enemies are back on the on screens now. Okay. Let's get some horns. Lovely. Lovely bread. Okay, that's where the, uh, the fourth heart was. Let's go down a bit more. Don't worry about the water enemies yet, we will be able to deal with them later, but by that time we won't really want to deal with them, so just ignore them really. I think we can, yeah, we can break this, yeah, this is what the axe can do, it chops down trees, it doesn't chop all trees down, just many of them, and unlocks a, a thing. Now I can't remember what this man does, I'll have to have a look, uh, just bear with me a second, I'm just going to look at my notes. Um, I 
think this one is an... I think this one, yeah, uh, uh, this one gives us 10 horns. I don't want to go to the ones that, that take our horns. I'll give you a present and see. Uh, oh, it's 30 horns, sorry. I do apologise. Um, yeah, it's. Uh, no, according to my notes, this one should have given me 10 horns. I must have written it down wrong. Yeah, this one should have given me 10 horns. It gave us 30. It's in the wrong thing. So, yeah, it gave us 30 horns, which is quite nice. Okay, let's, let's keep going. Um, it, it was good nonetheless. So yeah, that's how difficult it is to remember. Okay, to the right here is an item that we'll need to buy. Unfortunately, it's a very expensive item, uh, so we'll have to save up for it, but I'll just show you the item anyway. Um, if you see that jetty thing, that becomes important later on in the game. Just remember that it's there. It becomes important later. Okay, in here we get a night shield, 250 horns, yeah, we'll have to afford that at some point. Um, meat, 30 horns. Now, and uh, in my experience, this meat tends to get all my health up, even though meat, when you find it, only gives you three um, hearts worth back. When you buy it, it seems to give me all my health back, I don't know why. Or maybe nearly all, I don't know. Anyway, we need 250 horns for the night shield. Now, the maximum horns we can get is 255, so we have a lot of saving to do before we can get that, but it's really handy when we get it. And no, unlike Golvelius, the music does not change um, when we get a new weapon. Um, yeah, these things are very annoying. They, they take three hits. These things only need, um, only need uh, two hits now, uh, thankfully, which is nice. Um, I'll just leave it. There's no point killing it. Just leave it alone. Okay. I think we can open one of these somewhere. Yep, there it is, yep. Yep, go in. Alright, well, who's this one? I'll have to have a look at my notes. Excuse me a moment. Um, this one should... This one's lose ten horns, according to my notes, so I won't be going to this one. Yeah, this one will, will cost me ten horns, so I'll ignore that. Okay, here. Now this is important. Uh, we need to go in the other way to get rid of that. Yeah. Uh, so don't talk to that man. He will take. He will say um, it'll cost you ten horns or something, or you might have to pay up or something like that. Anyway, we need to get rid of those trees, brown trees, to get rid of that one tree. Then we can go here. Just, just leave quickly. And to get to that staircase, we need to go all the way over here. And here is some very, f um, here's some very familiar music. Uh, if you if you've seen my original Golden Axe playthrough on the Master System, here we go. Ah, good music, I love it. Yeah, this is the music to the first level of Golden Axe. Slightly sped up. Anyway, um, you're not an enemy, are you? Um, I'm Jillian. Yeah, he's called himself Jillian, even though it's a girl's name. On the Mega Drive version of Golden Axe, uh, the, uh, the dwarf was called uh, Gilius or Gilius Thunderhead, and he had the thunder magic. Whereas on the Master System version, you, you only could choose your magic, not the character. The character was always Tarek, which is Axe Battler in the Mega Drive version. Anyway, so this one, he's called Jillian for some reason. This is a cameo. Um, I'm from a dwarf's village up north. Ooh, it hurts. Can you please um, bring me a golden apple? It's supposed to cure wounds instantly. Okay, so if you have the golden apple, talk to him again. If you don't have one, you have to go all the way um, west to the left corner of the game, the bottom left corner of the overworld, and get an apple there, which is really annoying. So, but luckily I found one in that fireplace. Uh, thanks, my wound should heal in no time. It was just a few days ago when death... Uh, it was just a few days ago when Death had his army invaded our village. Our village was destroyed and many were killed. Luckily, I managed to escape. As a token of my appreciation, I'll give you the Thunder Magic Scroll. If you use this magic, you can attack enemies from a distance. Farewell, do come back. Yeah, eventually after a while, I don't know how long, but he will upgrade it for you to make it more powerful. But at the moment, he just says, you have to work hard, young man. Come back when you're ready. I don't know what makes it so that we can come back. But um, eventually, oh, whoops. eventually we can. Uh, eventually, I will come back, and he'll make the thunder magic stronger. But yeah, it's, it's quite handy. I'll get it out. So we now have the scroll. So you, you, know, you can equip the scroll, and that will you, uh, be in place of your um, yeah. Or you can use it instead of your sword. And uh, I'm making a pig's ear of that. Sorry. So I'll get the axe. 
with the axe out again. But yeah, that's the thunder magic. It's not really that useful, and it uses up uh, quite a few um, of your pots uh, using it. So I won't be using it that much unless I really need it. But yeah, it's put our maximum number of pots up to six now, which is quite helpful. But now we have a use for the pots that we find. Anyway, now I'm going to go back um, and save the game. I'm not going to go there yet because that place is a pain. Um, I'll, I'll deal with that place later. Anyway, I'm going to go and take that man's offer. And uh, I have we found a place in this one. No, doesn't seem to want to hit any of them. I can't remember um, where many of the staircases are. Anyway, go in here, let's save the game. Yep, uh, you can save your game data here. Do you want to save? Yes. In which file? This one. Your game data is saved. Thank you very much. So that's that. Um, thank you very much for watching. Um, next part, I'll hopefully, although not guaranteed, I'll hopefully be going to... I, if I have enough time, I'll be going to the, the second dungeon. But if I don't, I'll just do some more exploring, then I'll go to the second dungeon in the third video. Um, yeah, um, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching, I've done the first dungeon, done the first crystal, done the, uh, um, uh, the thunder magic thing, and saved the game, so thanks for watching, and goodbye.